Hello Grade 8 Learners, how's your day today? Welcome to Science 8 Quarter 3 Week 1A Video Module. I am Sir Rainer Desus, your teacher guide for this week's module with the title, Physical States of Matter and Their Properties. Before we proceed to our video module, I would like to invite you Grade 8 Learners to like and share my YouTube Science Video Modules found here in my YouTube channel, Rainer Desus TV. Please subscribe to my channel and watch quality science video modules. Thank you! Here are the most essential learning competencies for Science 8 Quarter 3 Week 1A Video Module. Explain the properties of solids, liquids, and gases based on the particle nature of matter S8MT-3B-8. Welcome to Science 8 video module on physical states of matter and their properties. This module was designed to provide you with fun and meaningful opportunities for guided and independent learning at your own pace and time. You will be enabled to process the contents of the learning material while being an active learner. Reminders 1. Set a conducive learning space at home so you can focus on your studies. 2. Take your time to read the lessons carefully. 3. Answer all the given tests and activities intelligently within the given allotted time. 4. Follow the directions in the activities. 5. If needed, ask assistance from your parents or guardians to guide you in doing the activities. 6. Take down important concepts and list questions you would like to ask. 7. Reflect and apply the concepts that you have learned. Here are the expectations and outcomes. 1. Identify and describe common properties of solids, liquids, and gases. 2. Distinguish properties of matter from those of non-matter. 3. Appreciate the importance of learning properties of matter. Grade 8 Learners On this part, please prepare your pen and paper to answer this 10-item pretest. Choose the letter of the correct answer. Are you ready? If an ice cube is left out in an open, it will change from one state of matter to another. What is the correct order of the state of matter that the ice cube will go through? A. Solid, liquid, gas B. Gas, solid, liquid C. Liquid, gas, solid D. Solid, gas, liquid 2. Why the force of attraction between gases particles is extremely weak? A. The particles are very far from each other B. The particles are closer to each other C. The particles are loosely arranged D. The particles are far from each other 3. Which of the following is not a physical property of matter? A. Mass B. Melting point C. Volume D. Flammability 4. Unlike a liquid, a solid object does not flow to take on the shape of its container, nor does expands to fill the entire volume available to it like a gas. Which of the following are the common properties of solid? A. It has no definite shape or volume. B. It has definite shape and no definite volume. C. It has definite volume but take the shape of the container. D. It is characterized by structural rigidity and resistance to changes of shape or volume. 5. Matter is anything that occupies space and has mass. Which of the following is an example of matter? A. Heat B. Light C. Smoke D. Sound 6. Non-matter includes the light from the torch, the heat from the fire, and the sound of a police siren. Which of the following statements describes non-matter? A. You cannot hold, taste, or smell these things. B. They are type of matter that are also forms of energy. C. Anything that occupies space and do not have a definite mass. D. Everything that exists can be classed as either a type of matter or a form of energy. 7. Which statement is correct about the molecules of a solid? A. The molecules randomly moving. B. The molecules are closely packed. C. The molecules are loosely packed. And D. The molecules are moving at a fast speed. 8. John used a triple beam balance to measure the amount of matter in the stone. He also used a graduated cylinder to measure the space occupied by the stone. 
What properties of matter are being described in John's activity? A. Mass and hardness B. Volume and flexibility C. Mass and volume D. Volume and malleability 9. What happens to the molecules of a gas when it is heated? A. It will not move B. It will slightly move C. It will move slowly D. It will randomly move at a fast speed 10. When you place the cotton with perfume in the table, you smell the fragrance of the perfume even if you were at some distance away. What happens to the particles of the perfume? A. The particles of perfume come closer to each other. B. The particles of perfume started to move away. C. The particles of the perfume travel slightly apart from each other. D. The particles of the perfume condense. Answer the same pre-test question on this Google form to know your score. Kindly visit the link below found on the description area of this video module. Retrospect In grade 7, you have learned the classification of matter. You have learned that matter can be classified as pure substances and mixtures. Pure substances such as elements and compounds have uniform composition throughout. Mixtures contain two or more components or substances that may be classified into homogeneous or heterogeneous depending on the size of the components present on it. Recall your chemistry in grade 7, then fill in the diagram with correct answer. Here are the instructions. A. Recall your chemistry in grade 7, then fill in the diagram with the correct answer. These are the words to be chosen. Compound Heterogeneous Homogeneous and element. Instruction Letter B. Identify what is being asked by filling in the missing letters in the box. 1. A pure substance that is made up of one kind of atom. 2. It is a combination of two or more distinct elements that are chemically combined. 3. It is the first element in the periodic table. 4. It refers to the materials that contains two or more chemical substances dispersed among each other or mixed and no chemical reactions occur. 5. It is a homogeneous mixture where the particles of one substance, which is the solute, are mixed with the particles of another substance, the solvent. 6. It is a type of mixture in which the composition is uniform or one phase throughout the mixture. 7. It is a type of mixture in which the composition is not uniform, two or more phases throughout the mixture. 8. It refers to the substance that is being dissolved or a substance that exists in a lesser amount. 9. It refers to the substance in which other material is being dissolved to form a solution and usually exists in greater amount. 10. It is a type of solution in which a solvent is not capable of dissolving any more solute at a given temperature. Answer the same retrospect question in this Google form to know your score. Visit the link below found on this video module. The Atoms Matter is anything that occupies space and has mass. It is made up of smallest particles called atom. It was derived from the Greek word atomos, which means indivisible particle. The study of matter began almost 2,500 years ago where Leucippus and Democritus believe that nature consisted of atoms and the void that surround them. They believe that there are many kinds of atoms and each one has definite sizes and shapes. Solids have a definite shape and volume. Solids are characterized by structural rigidity and resistance to changes of shape or volume. Unlike a liquid, a solid object does not flow to take on the shape of its container, nor does expands to fill the entire volume available to it like a gas. Most metals exist as solid at room temperature. Liquids have definite volume but no definite shape. It usually takes the shape of its container. Liquids flow because particles are free to move but still attracted to each other. Gases have no definite shape or volume. Gas is the state in which matter expands to occupy the volume and shape of its container. Gases 
have low density which contains scattered molecules that are dispersed across a given volume. Particles of gases move in random motion with little or no attraction to each other. Gases are highly compressible. Many years later, scientists came back to Democritus' idea and added to it. This theory they developed is called the particle model of the matter. There are four main ideas in the particle model. 1. All matter is made up of tiny particles. 2. The particles of matter are always moving. 3. The particles have spaces between them. 4. Adding heat to matter makes the particles move faster. Scientists find the particle model useful for two reasons. First, it provides a reasonable explanation for the behavior of matter. Second, it presents a very important idea that the particles of matter are always moving. This table summarizes the characteristics of solids, liquids, and gases. Non-matter is a type of matter but form of energy. Non-matter includes the light from the torch, the heat from the fire, and the sound of a police siren. You cannot hold, taste, or smell these things. Let's move to the main example. Learning competencies. Identify and describe the classification of matter based on its physical state, solids, liquids, and gases. SAMT-3A-B-8.1.1 Directions Fill in the blank with solids, liquids, and gases. 1. Blank are highly compressible. 2. Blank have no definite shape or volume. 3. Blank retain their size and shape without a container. 4. Blank are substances that flow and keep the shape of the container. 5. Blank are characterized by structural rigidity and resistance to changes of shape or volume. 6. Blank are hard, malleable, and conducts electricity. 7. Blank have definite volume but no definite shape because it takes the shape of its container. 8. Blank have unnoticed space between particles. 9. Blank have the lowest density. 10. Blank are highly compressible. Answer the same brain exemplar questions on this Google form to know your score. Kindly visit the link below found on this video description. Grade 8 learners, let's move to the brain gauge. Learning competencies, identify and describe the classification of matter based on its physical state, solids, liquids, and gases. S8, MT-3A-B-8.1.1 Direction, complete the following table to describe the three states of matter. Solid, liquid, gas. Categories, mass, shape, volume, molecular arrangement, and movements of particles. Answer the same brain gauge question in this Google form to know your score. Kindly visit the link below found on this video description. Thank you. Benchmark Learning competencies Identify and describe the classification of matter based on its physical state, solids, liquids, and gases. S8 MT-3A-B-8.1.1 Instruction to summarize the content of your lesson for today, fill in 1 to 5 with the following terms, directions, flow, shape, compressed, and volume. To summarize the content of your lesson for today, fill in 6 to 10 with correct word or group of words. Everything that exists can be classed as either a type of M or a form of energy. None matter includes the L from the fluorescent lamp the H from the stove, and the S of an ambulance siren. You cannot hold, taste, or smell these things. They are not type of matter, but forms of E. Answer the same benchmark questions in this little form to know your score. Kindly visit the link below found on this video description. Assimilation Solids are hard because they are composed of tightly packed molecules. Solids have also definite shape and volume. The molecules in a liquid, however, are more fluid. Liquids do not have a definite shape because they only take the shapes of their container, but they have definite volume. 
Gases are composed of high energy molecules that are constantly moving around because they don't have a definite shape until they are forced to take the shape of the container. Gases will also take the volume of their container. Values on point it is important for you to know the properties of matter because all these things are made up of matter. Each type of matter has different physical characteristics and you need to know and understand these characteristics to make calculations. For example, if you would like to know the density of a certain type of matter, you would need to know the mass and the volume of that matter because the density of a substance is the ratio of its mass and its volume. Density is equal to mass divided by volume. The main physical characteristics of matter are mass, volume, weight, density, odor, and color. These are the characteristics that help us to see matter, feel matter, and taste matter. Now, let's move to the post-test. Choose the letter of the best answer and write the chosen letter on a separate sheet of paper. 1. Which among the phases of matter is characterized by structural, rigidity, and resistance to changes of shape or volume? A. Gas B. Liquid C. Plasma D. Solid 2. Three states of matter exist like solid, liquid, and gas. Which of the following are the common properties of liquid? A. It has no definite shape or volume B. It has definite shape and no definite volume C. It has a definite shape and has definite volume. D. It has a definite volume but take the shape of the container. 3. Everything that exists can be classified as either a type of matter or a form of energy. Which of the following is an example of matter? A. Air B. Heat C. Time D. Sunlight 4. If water is placed in a freezer, it will change from one state of matter to another. Which are the correct changes of matter that the water will go through? A. Solid to gas B. Liquid to solid C. Gas to liquid D. Solid to liquid 5. Which of the following is a property of matter? A. Mass and volume B. Melting point and work C. Volume and energy D. Force and acceleration 6. Which statement is correct about the molecules of a gas? A. The molecules are randomly moving B. The molecules are closely packed C. The molecules are loosely packed D. The molecules are moving in a low speed 7. What happens to the glass of water when it is accidentally spilled on the ground? A. It will not flow. B. It will flow easily. C. It will evaporate. D. It will turn into ice. 8. One of the microscopic behavior of matter is its ability of the particles to move. Rank solid, liquid, and gas in order of the particle speed from highest to lowest. A. Gas solid liquid. B. Solid gas liquid. C. Gas liquid solid. D. Liquid gas solid. 9. Which statement is true about the aspects of the particle model of matter? A. Matter is made up of bigger particles. B. Particles of matter are not moving all the time. C. Particles of matter do not attract each other. D. Particles of matter have spaces between them. 10. The following are the changes that happen when the orange juice is poured from a can into a glass. Except 1. A. The same color of the orange juice. B. The same shape of the orange juice. C. The same taste of the orange juice. D. The same volume of the orange juice. Answer the same post-test questions in this Google form to know your score. Kindly visit the link below. Congratulations Grade 8 learners! You have completed this Quarter 3 Week 1A video module. By that, you have earned a Science 8 Quarter 3 Cup. Now you have unlocked the next video module. 
I hope to see you again in the next video module. Again, this is Rainier, your teacher guide for this video module. Thank you and God bless us all.